Hi guys, welcome back to Chocolat. I'm your host Kim. Today we're at the Automotive Guys talking about the stereotypes and ownerships of Zero Coast. Get up! Okay, let's go. Hello guys. We have two Zero Coast owners down here for our talk show today. You want to give a short introduction about yourselves? Hi guys, my name is Justus. I'm an owner of a Zero Coast 2.0. This red color one over here is a 2011 model. Hi guys, my name is Daryl. I drive a 2017 facelift Sirocco 1.4. So guys, the Sirocco is known to be a little bit unreliable in terms of like gearbox and all this kind of thing. So, are you all not afraid that one day if you're pushing too hard, it will just bang or like you know just blow out while you're driving? Okay, uh, for myself. Uh, what I have to say is, if you are scared, then don't buy. If you not, you wanna give it a try, then go ahead because it looks cool and nice on the road and stuff like that. Then it's like a guy's dream, lah. For me, lah. That's why this is the reason why I bought a Sirocco. Every I feel that every car has their own problems, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter if it's a Sirocco or a BMW. It could be anything. Every car has their own set. Of when you are jumping into car ownership for whatever car you're getting, uh, you have to be ready up for the problems that will come up mm. with the car. Then, roughly, how much you spend on your car so far? Uh, okay, after taking over the car, uh, I spent around almost thirty k on uh, mods and repairs. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand yeah. is more than your car, eh? Yeah. Okay. Because my car is more than ten years old. Okay. So. When I took over the car that time, then there are a lot of stuff I need to change, stuff like that, because like ten ten years car, so mm. that's that's bound to have problem lah. Yeah. That's bound to have problems lah. Yeah. And how about well, mine is I'm on the opposite side. Mine is a half car, body brand new mm. from Volkswagen, so I don't exactly have uh, a repair bill in a way because it's just uh, in January will be five years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's more of just modifying the car. And it's close to like twenty grand, twenty thousand dollars. What have you done so far to your car? You know, from spec to to this day. From from original, I've changed the bumpers, I've changed the headlights, I've changed the exhaust, the intake, suspension. I mean, it's just the basic thing that every car guy goes through. Like, hey, you got a new car, you know. First thing first, everyone asks, hey, your car not loud enough, eh? you know. It's mm. a sports car, it should sound sporty. Mm. So the like, exhaust is one of it. Then after that, all the typical car sounds, so like blow off valves or mm. intake, you know, all these small things that eventually will accumulate and then slowly slowly over the years yeah, over the years yeah. you just add up so like for justice he bought a 10 year old car he spent like 20-30 thousand to repair to keep it rolling for the mm. next 10 years 10 over years uh, yeah. I have the car for close to 5 years and spent about 20 grand and then it's uh, it's all just getting the car ready for a longer life uh, because not necessarily stock parts or original from the factory last the longest it depends on how you drive okay I got a, I got a dying question for you guys. How many times have you been stopped by the LTA? <laughs> or TP or whichever law enforcement? For me, twice. Uh. Twice, just on the road? Uh. On the road. Okay. okay. For me, on the road, uh, so far, touch wood. Haven't yet? Uh. I've been clean so far. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah. what, what, uh, why, why they stop you though? Like, what, uh, what was the reason? I think it's like a... I don't, I don't know. They just see it sporty and just, just to... Stop me to check whether is everything okay and stuff like that. But yeah, I got the like uh, cert and license and stuff like that. So I show them that it's all good lah. So it's yeah, quite so true that the Sirocco is a TP magnet lah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So in all honesty, right? I myself I have considered as owning a Sirocco before lah. But within that price bracket, I think there are a few other cars that you know you can look at like the Golf or the A3 also. I think it's in within the uh, within the same price range. Uh, Suzuki Swift Sport. You know, what is the reason why you chose Silco over those other cars? Well, for me, it's the looks of it. Mm. It looks sporty and two door um, gives me the like sports car kind of feels. Uh. But the Golf also got two door. Uh, the not really my kind of thing. Uh. Why? Cause ugly. Uh. No, cause no, ugly. Huh? Cause ugly. Uh. No, I prefer <laughs> Silco. Okay. Uh. Okay. Then how about yourself? Myself is just uh, didn't really have much of consideration because it's a uh, sort of a family nation. Let's mm -hmm. get this Rocco. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, my mom, my mom is into it, la. so mm. a bit hard to find a mom that like, hey, let's buy a two-door car, you know. 
Ah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Very true. Then okay, let's. I think you have owned the car for about, um, maybe about how many? How long? Two Three years. years. Three years. Yeah. Then yourself. Uh, uh, coming to five years. Coming to five yeah. years. How's running the car like? You know, the running costs like petrol fees, like the maintenance fee, and all this kind of thing. How much roughly is it? Uh, for my car, fifty liters. Usually, I top up fifty liters. It can go about five hundred plus. Okay. Yeah. Quite bad. <laughs> Actually, quite bad. Yeah. Actually, yeah, quite bad. Yeah. Well, he's running about ten. Yeah. 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 Running about uh, maybe because it's a two liter, so mm. his fuel consumption is not as, it's as high as what is the norm mm. in today's numbers. But then I'm running about twelve km per liter. Yeah, not yeah. too. Not so too it's bad. acceptable, mm. You know, it's nothing ridiculous. It's not RX eight ridiculous, mm. but true. Yeah, it's mm. not. It's not a Honda Jazz idea. Yeah, yeah. La, that's true. So, I think put into consideration. I think most most of uh, I I would say from justice lah. I think the main reason why people go for Silco is look. Okay. So within the price bracket, right? Like the Golf, you know, the Suzuki Swift Sport. You know, in terms of performance, what do you think the Silco? Uh, do you think the Silco is faster than the the cars in the price bracket, or what are your opinions? I mean, it depends on what have they done to their car and stuff mm -hmm. like that. If you talking about just a base specs model, then it's different, lah. Because the guy, one point six or what, can. I don't know what's underneath the hood and all. Maybe something different. Okay. Yeah, so cannot compare. Right? But base to base, base what do you think? Base. What do you think? Uh, two liter faster. Two, two, two liter. Oh, two liter faster. <laughs> ah. Okay, guys. So Suzuki Swift Sport, guys. Ah, you all remember this red color Sirocco? Ah, if you all see on the road, you all can just poke. Hey, you hey, can just hey, poke hey. justice. No, no, no. That's <laughs> not what I said. You all can just poke justice. So, have you guys heard of the the Instagram page called? Fucking Siokos, where they you know they post memes about Siokos, you know, stereotypes and all this kind of thing. Have you all seen it before? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think sort of because my friend ever sent me before a meme about like Siokos starter packs, stuff like that, like you wear ADLB. Yeah, you also wear ADLB, like, hey, but you don't have yeah, Siokos. I'm not wearing ADLB, I don't even own a yeah, single one. I, I, wear, I wear with you, I wear with you. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. wear this on the show, then I, yeah. <laughs> stereotype, what? Stereotype, what? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so from what I've heard from you guys, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding you know, regarding the negative stigma about serial code drivers. Do you all have anything to say to the viewers about, you know, maybe clear up your name a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so as for myself, uh, I'm a really chill driver. I don't anyhow wait and poke people or push people, stuff like that. I, I would just simply just drive, ca just drive uh, casually and yeah. La. Obviously, if somebody come and provoke you, it's like they asking. They asking for trouble. Yeah, in a way asking, okay. yeah. So for me, it's just like I just get to my point A to point B. Just in the car that you like. That that's the main point of your car, Okay. And anything. Uh, for me, like my point is just uh, like I mentioned earlier. There's always black sheep in whatever community you're in. Uh, it doesn't define everyone. Not everyone drives like that. And I feel that uh, we shouldn't be judged that way. The uh, same as how. People will judge PhD drivers or judge cyclists on the road. Not everyone is like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no need to categorize us all just because we drive the same car. Yeah, I don't think all Sirocco drivers are hooligans on the roads. La. Like, these two guys are perfect examples of non hooligans on the road. So, I don't think you guys you know, should judge a whole community based on a few little black sheep here and there. But the black sheep are quite. Quite black lah. Yeah. I I would I would think lah. Yeah. Okay, so that wraps up for today. Okay. Thank you, Justice. Thank you, Daryl. Okay. By the way, Justice is selling his car at the automotive guys. So if you guys want to buy a YP car, you hey, can come down. What, what, what YP? What? What fuck you? Oh. Ask me to wear ADLB shirt on the show. Then ask. Yeah lah. Where the salesman call people YP? Move move. Siap. So, <laughs> hi, uh, Rina, Rina. Justus and Dara. <laughs> so uh, Rainer from the automotive guys. So like what Justus said, right? He's gonna sell his car. Okay. Uh, this is a Sirocco two liter lah. So mods list, everything have right. Yes. Everything done everything up right. Done sui sui. Yeah. So zero to hundred shouldn't be work perfect, perfectly. Right. No problem no, at all lah. So anything worry. you can look for us TAG Auto. You can check out our listings also. Okay, so uh, like that, don't need him to wrap up lah. I will help him wrap up. <laughs> so thank you guys for viewing, like and share. I would like to thank Justice and Daryl once again. Uh, Yalo, like and share lah. Bye guys. Ciao.